Welcome to the College Investor Audio Show, where we talk about the biggest issues impacting millennial money, from student loan debt to side hustles to building wealth. We will show you how to get out of debt so that you can build real wealth for the future. It's great to have so many options when it comes to planning for retirement. Although there are so many, and sometimes you can kind of get a little bit confused on the differences between all of them. Today, we are giving you the ultimate Roth 401k guide. Let's get right to it, shall we? Thanks for joining us, by the way. This is the College Investor Audio Show. More and more companies are now starting to offer a Roth 401k to their employees, which is great. If you have the option to invest in a Roth 401k, I highly recommend it. Unlike a traditional 401k, the Roth 401k allows you to contribute after tax money today. And when you withdraw in retirement, you'll pay no taxes on it. Bonus. However, there are some important things you should know about this account, just like every other tax deferred account. What is a Roth 401k? First of all, the definition. A Roth 401k is a retirement savings plan that combines the best of a 401k and a Roth IRA. This plan was only created into law in 2006, and as such, it's been kind of slow for many 401k providers to offer it. A Roth 401k is great because the employee contributes after-tax dollars and as such doesn't pay any taxes on withdrawal from the fund in retirement. It's important to remember this, though, that your employer's contributions will always still be pre-tax. Contributions to a Roth 401k. Now, just like a regular 401k, employees make contributions from their paychecks to the Roth 401k. However, with a Roth 401k, the contributions made are from after-tax dollars. The maximum contribution to all 401ks, both traditional and Roth, cannot exceed $19,500 in 2020. If you're under 50 and 26000 if you're over 50 Matching funds from employers are not included in this cap. That's good news. Employees can contribute to both traditional and Roth 401ks as long as the limit above is not exceeded and the employer offers both. You can see a link to all of the different contribution limits at thecollegeinvestor.com. Employer matching contributions. All right, so one of the big, the biggest benefits of 401ks is that employers can match contributions as an incentive to employees. Love it. In 2020, the maximum match for employers is $37,500. To make a total contribution of $57,000, imagine that contribution in your retirement. Wow, what a nest egg. However, if you have a Roth 401k, and you get an employer match, it can't go into your Roth 401k because it can't be received as an after-tax treatment. Instead, any employer matches must be deposited into a pre-tax traditional 401k. So basically, when you open a Roth 401k, you're getting two accounts, a pre-tax and after-tax account. Pretty cool. Your 401k provider should be tracking these balances separately. Let's hope they're doing that. Okay, so withdrawals and transfers. Let's hit on that topic too. There are some restrictions on withdrawals and transfers, but they aren't that complicated. So stick with me. First, let's talk about withdrawals. Earnings on Roth 401ks will be tax-free as long as the distribution is made at least five years after the first Roth 401k contribution and the attainment of the current retirement age of 59 and a half. Note, there are some exceptions to withdrawing money early, and you can check out the Guide to 401k Penalty-Free Early Withdrawal Rules. There's a link to it at, you guessed it, thecollegeinvestor.com. So as for contributions, you cannot withdraw them penalty-free like you can with a Roth IRA. Once you make a contribution to a Roth 401k, it is irrevocable. You can roll your Roth 401k into a Roth IRA upon termination of employment. Finally, Unlike, unlike a regular Roth IRA, you must take required minimum distributions on a Roth 401k at age 70 and a half, just like a regular 401k. Roth Solo 401k. If you're self-employed or a small business owner, you can also create a solo Roth 401k. So you should know this, we're huge fans of the Solo 401k because it allows you to save much more for retirement than other self-employed retirement savings vehicles. With a Roth Solo 401k, it's important to remember this. 
You are both the employer and employee. As such, when you create your Roth Solo 401k, you'll be opening two accounts, a pre-tax and an after-tax account. You'll have to track both the Roth and pre-tax contributions and balances separately. Can be confusing, but with an advisor, they can help you with this. Only the employee side of the contributions are allowed to be Roth. The employer side, or profit-sharing portion, if you will, must be pre-tax. However, you get to deduct that contribution from your taxes. Boom! So check out our guide to best solo 401k providers to find a provider that allows a Roth solo 401k at thecollegeinvestor.com. The verdict, if you have access to a Roth 401k, oh, it is a great way to save for retirement. There are a few special circumstances involved, but they aren't that hard to understand either. Your money can grow and be withdrawn tax-free, which of course is great. (laughs) If you want a full breakdown, we have a guide called the Roth 401k versus traditional 401k, and you can find that at thecollegeinvestor.com, as well as tons of other resources and amazing articles. Thank you so much for joining us today, and we'll talk to you again very soon.